Hello everyone and welcome back to Life is Strange. It is here, it is the final episode. I've waited a very long time for this. I think the fourth episode came out like August. So it's been about two months. On Life is Strange. Yeah, we know there's a, a huge storm coming to destroy Arcadia. What did you find? Rachel in the Mr. Jefferson jungle. is a pedo. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing yeah, we here, Yeah, we saved Kate, so it's all good. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Kill Chloe. He killed Chloe. <sighs> Where does it pick up now? Oh, it's a flash. No. No. Just go away, Mr. Jefferson, you pedo. Bright, that is bright. Oh no, he's t this is some sadistic shit. <sighs> just, just why? Just why? Oh, I'm doing stuff. Oh, I'm doing... Oh, I'm doing stuff. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Yeah, Chloe, um... Chloe's dead. Oh, no. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Victoria's here as well. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Oh, shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too. This is so bad. Yeah, I can't detach that. Help! Somebody help me! Of 
course. And right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Yeah, it probably was. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. If I could move it towards me. Come on, taps the right foot. Yes, there we go. Now hook the trolley. Finally, I'm free. Hook the trolley. Almost. Come on, grab it. Pull it towards us. Looking at myself like that, you'll pay for this, Jefferson. Yep, we will get him. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Right. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. So messed up. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just a pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! What the hell? So messed up. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. What the hell? Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Can I do anything to stop this? Maybe. Please. A new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Please. Please let me stop. Oh, no, please. No, 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 no. 
This is getting too real. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Big middle finger for you, Mr. Jefferson. You absolute pedophile. Did I do something bad? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Tell me she's waking up. Please, just wake up. Still stuck here, damn it. Well, I suppose we do have to look at one thing. We've got to look... Oh, the photo... We've got to look at the photos. That helps. That helps a lot. Well, we've got one more location to go to, but carrying on. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. How can I use them? Oh, I don't want to look at that. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Likewise. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. I need to somehow destroy the restraints. Is she gonna wake up? Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. Oh, damn it. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. And she's gone. Oh no, I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Good pep talk. Uh, is there nothing else? Is there nothing else that can help us? Anything on the roof? No. Oh, God. It's time to focus. 
What more depressing, demented work. stuff will ha happen? Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session on the contrary yes <laughs> i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Kate believed and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Ah, uh, thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are him. going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is no, that what you want to hear? Yourself. Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead, but no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. 
After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Not really. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. I've got to do something. Now, let's see how these shots something. came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. That's so disturbing. That's so disturbing. Oh God. <laughs> this is terrifying. This one. Hmm. Okay. Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. Yep, show what me a, a selfie. Show me a selfie. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. You fool. <laughs> you fool. Now I have the diary. With a heart. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. 